Opioid abuse isn't anything new in Tennessee. In fact, it's a problem that continues to grow and kill larger amounts of people every year. And the problem could start as early as high school. So I helped kick off today's summit for opioid use amongst high school athletes. And that's not something that people really think about a lot. Um, but, you know, our goal at the Department of Health is to prevent substance use before it even starts. School nurses, coaches and others who work closely with high school athletes attended the summit to learn how to prevent prescribed drugs for an injury from becoming a dangerous addiction. Carla Aaron, who attended the summit, constantly works with high school athletes and explains why they could be more prone to using them than their peers. There's a lot of pressure put on them. You know, they're wanting to know if they can go to college and play sports and, and, and even from the coaches, you know, they, they mean well, but they need them to perform also. So as I, th I believe that a lot of times it's, it's the mental, they're wanting to escape from that. The biggest problem with opioids in high school athletes is that they want to take more so they can be on the field sooner. But they say there's many more approaches that they should take. Instead, they recommend that those working with injured high school athletes try talking to the students and try physical therapy. For 39 News, I'm Camila Rueda.